Let's just look at the um, chart that we've got over here on the weekly chart of cable. Now, there are similarities to what we've been looking at. In that, what we've got, let me move these lines, we've got lows just right the way down here at around about 48. And um, getting on for 900 pips higher, then we've got a top. So effectively, we've got a range. And that range is, is being formed now because we've got a we've, we've got a, a very clear double bottom and we've got a very clear double top at the moment, at the moment. And we've seen then price move back away from these previous highs. Isn't that so often the case? Previous highs, previous lows are areas of reaction. And we've had price then pop down, but is attempting to rally. We bring this down to a daily chart. Then we can see that top that much more clearly, how price has moved on down. But candle action, candle action on these days. Just look at candle action. We've got candles with long wicks or tails, lower tails. And they are bullish candles showing that the momentum on the downside is drying up. And one of the most important levels is this one right there. Look at that. Double bottom has not broken that low. When that low breaks, then this previous uptrend can be said to have turned into a downtrend. It hasn't happened yet. But we've got this little rally on up. It may need to rally somewhat further. Been waiting for this rally because what that will mean is that when it turns, then we've got a really good selling opportunity. Looking at this on a four hour chart, then we've got a low, we've got a little zigzag, and it looks as if it just might it just might want to go a little bit higher, but it's now hit one of those important levels, 61.8. I would much prefer this to go on up to either hit the dark clear or back level. But at some point, what it's going to do, it's going to do this. It's going to break that yellow line. It's going to break this other yellow line. And it's going to head on further south. And when it does, then we could get a fairly substantial move right the way on down. And that could be worth a good many hundred pips. Right, guys. Well, look, we've looked at uh, one or two of those major um, major charts. And I think before we leave this, we might just take a, a quick glance at the Australian dollar. Because the Australian dollar has been getting really quite strong just recently. And let's just look at the pattern. Let's just look at the pattern. On the daily chart, we have price then moved down in this substantial run. Down, 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 down. It appeared to be setting itself up with a neckline. But then price went lower, bounced back, and then it didn't go lower. In fact, you can probably just about see that. My fib finder is telling me that that's at a bat level. At the bat level. Okay. Now, this is not, as far as purists are concerned, a proper bat pattern. It doesn't follow all the right ratios. But it's hit the level. And price action is suggesting that there will be, at the very, very least, a temporary move up. And that's what we've actually seen. Look at that. We've got a whole series of levels here. And we've now actually had an ABC move. And as we can see, that has come to an end this morning at a bat level. And one wonders now if there is going to be enough power to push this one through for another substantial move. 
For my money at the moment, I would suggest that possibly we've had a good bit of a bounce completed. But we may well find the, the Australian dollar, as talk from China is suggesting that things are possibly stabilizing somewhat, things may not be quite so bad. 